So today's video is going to be my box. It's sure my unboxing. I wonder how many times I've said that sentence, like that phrase in my life. Today we're going to be getting ready together using the April box of sherm. So uh, let's get started. By the way, you guys like my water bottle? I actually started a 10 week workout program yesterday with Caroline Gervain. I think, I'm not sure how you say her name, but I'm doing the Epic One program. And I told myself that I have to drink one of these every single day during the program. It's like 3 p.m. and I'm only by 9 a.m. So, you know. Shout out to Ceci who got me this water bottle when I told her I drink way more coffee than water. It's from Amazon. <laughs> anyway, I just didn't realize it was like in the way there. Okay, let's begin. I'm also, by the way, simultaneously drinking coffee. <laughs> You can take the girl out of Cuba, but you can't take the Cuba out of the girl. <laughs> Actually, I, I was not born in Cuba, but everybody else in my family was, so. Okay, so the first thing in the box is actually a body cleanser. I don't even know if we've gotten a body wash before. I've never heard of this brand either. This is Terre de Mars. Terre de Mars, Terry de Mars. And it is their Reddington Body Cleanser, an organic, low foaming, aromatic, ooh, I like that, and soft cleanser suitable for all skin types infused with bioactive ingredients such as coffee. Ah. Speaking of coffee, coffee, rosemary extracts, verbena oil, whatever that is. All together, they tone, purify, and protect the skin while aloe vera nourishes and softens it. Oh my God, that actually sounds pretty freaking amazing. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna go throw this in my shower. Maybe I'll talk about it when I use it up in an empties video or something. I haven't done one of those in a long time. Do people even still care about those? But anyway, moving on to the next thing in the box. So this is from a brand, Touch and Soul. I've used a few of their products before and I really like their stuff. This is their Pretty Filter Icy Sherbet Primer. It's silicone free and it has a cooling effect and it's supposed to give you a silky and fine tuned finish. Oh, the packaging is really pretty. Fresh sherbet like texture smoothly glides with rich hydration and an instant cool down effect. Oh, it's so cute. Even the inside is pink. I thought it would come with like a little spatula thing, but it does not. So I'm just gonna use my finger. Mm, that smells like roses. Mm. But like a nice rose. <laughs> Actually, it's, yeah, it's not too strong. It's not too strong. I don't know why I was expecting like a cake-like scent or like, you know, like ice cream. I, I don't know. Definitely put too much there. Ooh, oh my God, this is super cold. It's definitely a nice little pick me up in the morning. I never know if I'm applying too much of these types of primers, but feels really nice. So usually gel primers like this kind of pill up a little bit, at least on my skin. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Cause I mean, it sounds really cool. It has like water lock technology <laughs> that's supposed to keep your face like extra hydrated throughout the day. So. Okay, so we also have this in the box. This is the Dragon Beauty Dragon Fire Color Corrector, and this one is in the shade Lavender. I've gotta be honest, I don't really use color correctors, at least not anymore. I feel like I used to um, a few years ago, especially for my dark circles. I probably should use a color corrector on these things. But honestly, I'm so lazy these days when it comes to my makeup that if I have to do an extra step, I'm like, do I have to? But we're still gonna try this. And I'm sure it's good. I just, like I said, I don't use color correctors that often anymore. Especially not like the lavender shade. If I am gonna use a color corrector, it's usually like a peachy kind of color corrector that's for dark circles. Because color correctors with this kind of tone are more meant to neutralize the skin. Like if you have a lot of yellowness or if you have like sallow skin, like dull skin, this is supposed to help with that. And I don't really have that issue with my skin, like that yellowness. Um, mine is definitely more like dark circles or redness around my nose and in between my brows. But just for the sake of this video, I am gonna use it on my face. I'm gonna kind of use it as like a highlighting product, kind of like in my T-zone. I'm, I'm just gonna throw it on and maybe we'll see if we see a difference. Maybe I just use it on one side of my face and see if we see any difference at all. I'm just gonna put it like on my red areas and I don't know, honestly, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Because I'm pretty sure adding purple on top of red does nothing. In fact, it probably makes it worse. <laughs> this is not how you use lavender. But we're gonna try something new, folks. What is even happening right now? You know what? Just, just skip that and only use color correctors you need. <laughs> I feel like that made my nose area even more red. Okay, this specific shade, not for me, not for me. But of course there are people out there who use lavender color correctors like every single day. Of course it just depends on what you need. So I don't necessarily love that we get a color corrector in the box because Again, everybody's skin is so different that I don't think this is necessarily like a universal product. You know what I mean? Okay, really quickly, I'm gonna jump off camera and do my foundation and bronzer and all that stuff because the last two products in the box are eye products. Okay, so I have the majority of my makeup on. I need to do something about these dark circles. Look at this, guys. Look like the Crypt 
keeper. Oh, I'm like the crypt keeper. Okay, so really exciting. The palette that they sent this month is a Natasha Denona palette, which I freaking love. Natasha Denona eyeshadows, they're amazing. This is the Jubilee palette. This is the color story. Isn't it interesting? I would have never pictured these colors together, but yet it works. Like it looks really, really cute. I'm very excited to try it. You guys know I like to do very natural looks, but I want to use every single eyeshadow in one way or another. So let's see. I already got my primer on. Well, I mean, it's just a little concealer. And let's do this. Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know what's happening here. I'm trying to use all the shades, but I feel like I look like I'm in an 80s music video. Okay guys, I tried to make a really simple look out of a complicated eyeshadow palette and I definitely failed. I look like I'm ready for your 80s aerobics. Especially with this red shirt, what am I thinking? Although I was pleasantly surprised to see that this color is not black, it's blue. And you could probably get a really cool look with these two shades and then a nice springy look with these three shades. But altogether, it's not my favorite, at least not this look, obviously. This is what your six-year-old niece does on her face when she's playing with makeup for the very first time. This is what she does. I need to play more with colorful eyeshadows, my friend. I'm losing my touch. I'm such a natural girl these days that if it's not browns, I don't want them. But okay, I'm gonna quickly curl my lashes and hopefully throwing on some mascara will help this look less ugly. So the very last thing in the box this month is this. This is the Queen Studio Dragon Lash Mascara and I'm really excited to try this out because first of all, I love trying out new mascaras, but also this is a tubing mascara which is one of my favorite kind of mascaras. Oh, this is really cool. It has like dragons all over it. Very interesting. So okay, let's see if it's as good as my Thrive Cosmetics mascara which is a tubing mascara. It's the best tubing mascara. It's very lengthening and it separates the lashes really nicely. Hopefully we can build up some volume. Okay, okay, okay. You do have to build the mascara up a bit. You have to do a couple layers, but I really, really like it. I still don't think it's as good as my Thrive Cosmetics one, but it's good. Okay guys, so that's it. That was everything that was in this month's Buxy Sherm. I added everything up and the total value is $145, which is amazing. Considering you only paid 20. How many times have I said that as well? I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't my favorite, favorite box this month. I do love Natasha Denona eyeshadow, so I do see myself using this palette. And I also really enjoy the mascara. I love tubing mascaras, they just wash off so easily. Totally mess-free, love it. And I'm actually super excited for this body wash. So I guess it was, it was a good month. The only thing I didn't like, honestly, was just that color corrector. And the primer didn't make my foundation pill up or anything, so the primer worked as well. I mean, it's something I gotta use more, but so far, so good. So yeah. It was a good month. It was a good month. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what you got in your box this month. Did we get the exact same thing? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave it in the comments below. But that completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. This is their Icy Sherbert. No, sorry. <laughs> Sorbet, right? That's how you say that? No, that's different. Actually, never mind. This is their... <laughs>